Since our nation's housing crisis began, millions of Americans have lost their homes to foreclosure. But not everyone necessarily loses in a foreclosure. Some of the giant law firms that process the paperwork to put people out of their homes, they're making millions. The Florida Attorney General is investigating multiple law firms regarding their foreclosure practices, including the firm housed in this building, one with more than 1,000 employees and that processed more than 70,000 foreclosures last year alone. The guy whose name is on the door is David Stern. According to county records, he also owns this $15 million mansion and that multi-million dollar yacht. Opposing lawyers have long taken issue with what this firm is allegedly doing to hapless homeowners. It's obvious that submitting a document to a court, which is not what it appears to be on its face, uh, which contains false signatures, obviously that's illegal. What this foreclosure defense lawyer is describing is documents like this. This is a very important document that enables them to take someone's home. Here you have one signature for one person and the same signature for a different person. And that's the tip of the iceberg when it comes to potential problems. This is a deposition recently taken by the Florida Attorney General from a former employee of David Stern's law firm. We had to do chronological things that were obviously changed and fudged. They wanted us to start changing the documents and stuff and, and doing stuff we weren't supposed to be doing. She also alleges the firm was filing foreclosures without even notifying homeowners. You know how it is. Before you can be sued in court and your property can be taken from you, you have a right to actually receive the papers which explain what the claim is against you. It's a fundamental right. Well, in this case, foreclosures were going forward, according to this lady, in many, many instances, not only where the people had not gotten the papers, but where false documents had been filed with the court, swearing under oath that they had, in fact, received the papers. I made repeated calls to Stern's firm for a response that have thus far gone unreturned. However, their representative did tell one newspaper that the deposition represents a disgruntled former employee with a vendetta against the company and none of her accusations of wrongdoing is true. This story is just beginning to unfold. We'll keep you updated. In the meantime, there's a lot more information at moneytalksnews.com and it's fascinating reading. Check it out. I'm Stacy Johnson.